Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video! Now, I know that testing your RPG isn't always the most fun or pleasant thing to do, and so I thought that in today's video I will give you 5 tips in order to test it even faster, but also make it easier on yourself. So, let's get started! Alright, so today's tip number one is, as you can see directly on the screen, create yourself a test hub. Now, a test hub is an environment that is not accessible or reachable for players when they are playing their game. This is a map that will be held and created specifically for testing purposes. Now, whether it is testing items, testing, testing skills inside combats, common events, or whatever you need to implement inside your game as mechanics or gameplay, this is where you're going to do it. Now keep in mind that the test hub does not replace any conventional testing. That means that if you create a dungeon for your game, you're still gonna have to test that dungeon to make sure that all the switches, the chests, the puzzles, and all that good stuff is working correctly. But the test hub, whenever it comes to game mechanics that appears everywhere, common events, combats even, and a lot of all good stuff, this is the place to do it. Now, for today's tip number two. Now, I created this massive wall in the middle of my testing hub in order to demonstrate a little point. Now, the point here is that it's more like a little cheat that you can apply whenever you're running the game through the testing mode, which is accessible over here by hitting the button on your toolbar. Not when the game will be compiled as an official game, but while you're testing, and here there's a little cheat that by holding the left control button, you're able to bypass any obstacles that you have created for yourself inside the game. And now, when you are testing dungeons, or maps, or quests, or whatever, that can come in very, very, very super handy to bypass some part of dungeons and whatever that you've already tested previously, and you know for a fact works. All right, now moving on to the tip number two of today is to create yourself NPCs that will allow you to have everything inside the game. Wow, great typo over here. Everything. Well, will allow you to have everything. And so what I did exactly is that I created a common event cheat code that gives me everything. Now, it's not everything, but just for demonstration purposes, but whatever that exists inside your game in terms of items, weapons, armors, skills, gold, whatever it is, I don't, I don't care. You have to give it to yourself through that common event that you will delete before releasing your game, just to make to be super safe. But while you're testing, it's always good to have this because no matter what you need to test, like you will always need, for instance, to change your gear to see, okay, if, can I test combats with this gear, what it looks like against that boss, is the player going to have difficulty at this stage and whatever that is. You need to test it and you need to confirm that everything works properly. There's nothing worse, as you know, probably, as you probably hard gamers yourself, nothing is worse than having bugs inside a game and having it not working properly, and even worse, being literally stuck because you cannot progress inside the game because it's literally mathematically impossible to beat that boss that you are trying to beat, and that happens because of poor testing. Now, while testing is super important, there are ways to make it a lot faster and easier for yourself, and creating a cheat code that gives you everything is a great way to give yourself a lot of well more like saving yourself a lot of time now for the fourth tip of today i'm gonna give it to you as soon as you click the like button below for the youtube algorithm and if you already clicked it well thank you you are amazing all right so tip number four now inside every single good rpgs there's always those kind of quests that you can start or begin or complete whenever 50,000 conditions have been met, like this one over here. Reach level 50, kill a dragon in the mountain, complete all the sub-quests inside the Lost Village, have a million gold, possess the legendary sword of Dragon Slayer, play the game for 56 hours, have donated $50 to charity, bring me some soup so I can give you a special quest. 
and you're honestly not gonna do this every single time you need to test it and you're probably gonna need to test it a couple times to make sure that it works properly so what do you do then step number four is create yourself an event that's gonna do just that for you now make sure that you always delete it because whenever you create an event for testing purposes it is super dangerous that you will forget to delete it before releasing the game and some professional developers have happened to do this in the past for big games so make sure that you're not one of them and as soon as you created an event that fulfilled the requirements you need to test something absolutely absolutely make sure to delete it now one of my favorite ways to make sure that you never forget it inside RPG Maker is whenever you create that type of events always name it the exact same keyword that means that it needs to be deleted so you'd always just write delete and all capital now what happens when you do this is that you have over here something called the event searcher and what you can do is that you can search for an event by name that is going to be called delete and if you search it then it gives you the list of every single events that is called delete inside your game so you know if you missed anything or forgot to delete any event before releasing your game which is super 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 important now my final and probably most important tip of today's video for testing your game faster is that make sure to remove every single random encounters whenever you're testing your dungeons and quests and whatever because you don't need to test combats while you are playing the game testing it on other purposes like for instance testing it for dungeons for quests or anything unless it is a boss fight or it is a monster that needs to be chilled specifically for a quest these are the two exceptions now in order to test combat what you need to do once again is make sure to make it inside the game hub and anything else remove the combat and only implement it as the last feature when everything else has been tested and then you can play test your game entirely with combat inside of it and see if you've missed anything on the balance which we'll see in future videos how you can balance your games properly with good game design but inside your game hub what you're gonna have is this little NPC here that basically is gonna ask you which troop do you want to battle and you're gonna input an id inside uh, a variable which you stand gonna use to start combats now the way you do this is simple you input number troop to battle so uh, my variable troop to battle three digits because i don't have i don't need anything more now you're gonna use battle processing using the variable that you just inputted the digit you can escape you can lose and whenever that happens you recover all party entirely so all hp mana and whatever so this is only for battle uh, testing purposes so that means that whenever you enter a digit in this case i've entered the digit four which was the tree and fight as you can see and if i was to enter the digit one it would give me two goblins and if it was seven then it will be my the first boss from the first uh, boss video tutorial and so on and so forth so let's just go back here and like fight Let's go to bus ID7. So. Okay, this has been chill. Awesome. And that's it. And then you can do it again and let, like try to chill some goblins instead. And basically, just remember that by doing it this way, it allows you to balance your combats a lot easier and faster because you test them all out inside the testing hub so you can change and switch your equipment as needed it should have also an npc that will allow you to change your levels to see uh, how the P monster reacts to different levels and skills and whatever and it will also save you a lot of time whenever it comes out to testing dungeons and quests inside the world all right that's already it for today's video as always make sure to like subscribe for more content and if you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave them below inside the comment section. And I'll see you later for a new video. Bye! Goodbye!